So this is the space I think that it would be most interesting to activate in the Oak Park Arts District. The uh, the rear of that's the Buzz Cafe there, and then the, I mean these are pretty interesting backyards. And if this alleyway were not an alleyway, but instead a uh, closed off you know walking street. Maybe paved like. I think that that would be a particularly interesting uh, way to handle the space. This house just looks really cool. This car just drove by me pushing like the biggest pile of leaves I've ever seen and part of it fell off. So this is like an eighth of the pile of weeds that this car was pushing. That's getting the matter. Hope to have a uh, report filed by this evening. Hilarious, like Obviously the person had just driven through an enormous pile of leaves. Um, they like didn't care that their car would get fucked up by branches or anything. And just kept going. Shit, do you think this wood is free? Probably not, right? Nah, they would put it. Is that free? I guess I could Google it. Sculpture I made. That's stainless steel, actually. my audio going in and out I was saying Weissen Lau that's his studio foremost Tai Chi teacher in the world top dog google him what you're too good for Tai Chi here's some trains you guys like trains it's gonna be a farmer's market maybe but no dice what day is it what year is it beating the shit out of my bike. I mean, riding it a lot, but also just like, when I'm done riding it, just hitting it with sledgehammers and big pieces of wood and stuff. Fucking nice window, I'll tell you what. I wonder if I could have that car. You think I just like go knock on the door? 
Yo, I see you have a car out there. It looks pretty nice. Can I have it? This garage is nicer than my parents' house. Maybe new gold standard of garage. In this town, anyway. Actually, hard to have a gold standard garage when you have other garages designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. Let's be honest. That garage I just showed you a few seconds ago was a fucking piece of shit compared. Just the angles. You gotta love Frank houses, man. It's the White House. It's where Donald Trump lives. Yeah, we've got a new champ now. There's a... Check this. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. It's fucking coming. Looking at that garage. Fucking paint job on this sucker. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, the big reveal. Yeah. Okay, here's a new pitch for a show. I buy this. Which is... It's in the neighborhood with all these Frank Lloyd Wrights and mansions and shit. And I level it and build like a small skyscraper on that lot. Like as tall as that lot will allow. I bet I could get 20 stories fast. I bet I could get 10 stories before like the authorities come and say, what are you doing? You know, we level the house one day. Next day we come in with a bunch of, no, next day we dig. Dig out the foundation, pour a foundation. And then on the third day, we come in with all sorts of prefabricated materials and like try within the span of three or four hours to get like at least five stories off the ground. That's my show. That's, uh, that's the reality show I want to be in. It's, it's called uh, Pop-Up Skyscraper. So, like, I, I already built seven stories. What, you're gonna make me take down a skyscraper? It's already there. And then in this neighborhood with all these uh, mansions and Frank Lloyd Wrights, it says like, you know, none of them are over four stories. But then mine will be this 20 story tower. And I won't like rent it out or build condos. The whole thing is going to be my house. A 20 story house right in the middle of this residential neighborhood. The very small footprint. And there's, you know, I mean, the skyscraper, it's all going to be prefab. So, you know, you give me a stop work order. I don't know. I think that we could still get the skyscraper up inside a week. If we get uh, Bam Margera to be the crew chief, you know. Thing, thing, it fucking sells itself. Hi, I'm Ben Margera, and you're watching Pop Up Skyscraper. And uh, for those of you who are interested in art and shit like that, you know, I think that Bam and his crew, uh, you know, Johnny Knoxville and those guys, they really are like the spiritual heirs to Chris Burden and those performative contemporaries. I'm not being like uh, a coy boy here. I, I'm, I'm being straightforward. I really think that those jackass guys are part of the. Uh, you know, 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 90s performance art movement. I mean, look at the shit Chris Burden was doing. He uh, he crucified himself on a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, he did all sorts of fucked up shit with his body. He had one of his friends shoot him with a rifle. And then you have Vito Acconci, you know, a celebrated architect, really, and artist, who, uh, you know, one of his breakthrough performances was burying himself under the floorboards of a gallery and masturbating while people were in there. By which I mean, you know, high art, like museum fucking art. 